it's Mrs. Payne. I miss you all. And I've heard you've been learning all about bugs this week. Speaking of bug, a bug just flew onto my arm. Ooh. Let's go ahead and read The Very Lonely Firefly. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. There was a dog, what's a doggy say? Ruff, ruff. A cat. And an owl, their eyes were reflecting in the night. Hoo, hoo. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlight flooding the night. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. What do you think the firefly was looking for? <gasps> A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you enjoy looking for bugs. See you soon. Bye.